In today's video, we are going to be testing out the new Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you again. If you are brand spanking new here and you like beauty videos, go ahead and subscribe. I upload three times a week, so you're guaranteed to find at least something you like on my channel. Now, as you guys already know, we are going to take a look at the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. This is a stick foundation on one side and a soft contour on the other side. I ordered this from Sephora and um, as you can see, they've got a little demonstration here how to use it. Now I'm just going to read for you guys on the box, it says it has medium buildable coverage smooth blendable formula with a natural finish and a soft contour with an angled tip for quick targeted application which I really really like. So I do want to let you guys know it does retail for $42 and it does come in about 15 different shades which is really really nice. Um, you know, hey look, for a foundation $42 is on more of the like medium to high end side in terms of price. So I really want to see if it's really worth it. So let me go ahead and take it out of this little box for you. So when you take it out of the box, this is the actual size. Now I ordered the shade 4.2, which I'm hoping it said it was a golden kind of undertone. So which I am obviously. Now this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match. I think so. Okay, so when you raise it up, you can see it's got a nice flat tip for application. What I really like, I can tell already, is I love that it's like travel friendly, you know? Obviously you can bring any foundation with you, but stick foundations are so nice when you're traveling. Now on the other side, you have this little angled tip right here, and this is the contour. Ooh, and it actually looks like it's gonna be a really, really nice shade. Oh man, it's like super, super hot in my room today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mattifying primer, and I'm also going to use this uh, Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer because I want to make sure I keep the oils under control today. So the first layer of primer is going to go on my T-zone and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Second layer is my good old Tarte Clean Slate. I used to use this a lot and I don't even know what happened, I just stopped for a while. But I rediscovered it and it's bomb. Okay, so now I'm really excited. Let me go ahead and twist this up. And let's see. That shade is looking pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Very, very close to my actual skin tone. First of all, I just wanna say this glides on so smoothly. It's amazing. Honestly, it's like butter. Now I'm going to use this Moda face brush. Love this guy. And it blends so beautifully. Like, wow, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually very impressed. This truly does have a natural finish. For those of you guys that don't wanna look like you have a lot of makeup on, this is bomb. This will even everything out. Like uh, the description said, it's not full coverage. This is like medium coverage. So if you have particular dark spots, of course you can spot conceal first and then you can layer it on. It honestly just like sinks into my skin and I haven't even set it yet and it's uh, so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. So I was absolutely melting, you guys, in my room. So I had to turn my fan on. But now I get to talk to you guys about my detailed application of this soft contour. Now, the angled tip definitely comes in handy. And I used the slimmer side to contour my nose, which I don't usually do every day. But I figured since we're testing this out, we might as well go ahead and use it for this. Now, I did find that it was kind of hard to get more precise because of the way that the tip is angled, but you'll see it definitely gets better as I blended it out. Now, I tried blending this out with my Beauty Blender and it actually blended out quite nicely. Now, I think that with this product, definitely less is more because I definitely had more contour than I would normally use. So, you know, that's just something that I'll learn for next time. But it's still blended out nice. You guys can see that it's not a harsh contour. It's very natural and nice. Um, and, you know, you can also even use, if you've got like a flat top kabuki brush that's stiff, that would work really nicely for blending this out as well. Um, one thing I liked was that the undertone of the contour product was spot on for my particular skin tone. I love that it was warmer and not that cool tone gray. Now, when it came to blending out my nose contour, I started with my Beauty Blender and that wasn't quite right. So I switched to my 804 Moda Face Brush and that was just okay it just wasn't doing the job the way I liked it and then I switched to the 803 Moda face brush and that was just right so um, it really blended it out so it was barely noticeable which is just what I wanted for the nose contour I didn't want it to be a strong contour at all so I'm gonna go ahead finish up the rest of my face, and then we're gonna come in, I'm gonna chat with you guys about my first impressions, and then I'm gonna check in with you guys at the end of the night to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I finished my makeup. My first thoughts on this foundation is like, damn, like I'm so surprised how beautiful this looks. Um, I mean, I think it's worth the $42 straight off the bat, but we got to see how this performs. And the contour shade, you know, was really nice, but I do kind of feel like it was a bit hard to control because it's so thick. Sometimes I want to be a little bit more precise, but you know what? I think I have to spend some time using the contour shade a bit more to kind of use it the right way so that it can be a little bit more controlled when I'm applying it. Um, I will say that I do love the shade. It's so appropriate for my skin tone. Um, I feel like it looks good and I feel like you don't look like overly contoured. It just blends, everything blends super smoothly. So straight off the bat, I wanna say loving it, first impressions. But I gotta come back, we gotta see how this looks, we gotta see if it holds up after the oils, you know, because the girl getting oily this summer. Um, but yes, so if you guys wanna see how this foundation lasts, keep on watching. So, six and a half hours later, here I am. Foundation is still looking bomb.com. Contour, bomb.com. It hasn't moved, it hasn't done anything. It still looks really, really, really great, guys. So I do want to note, I did set my soft contour with a powder contour very lightly because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to move around throughout the day. Um, honestly, my main thoughts are I love that the foundation is so buttery smooth. It seems to sink into the skin so easy to blend and it stays put. Now I did actually do some baking today, some very light baking on my face because it was a hot day, but I think in wintertime, springtime, fall, you're not going to need to do that at 
all. It's simply a gorgeous foundation for those of you guys that really like a more natural look, like a medium coverage look. If you love full glam, full everything, like cake, 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 this is not gonna be the one for you at all. I'm very lucky that I actually found a shade that matches me like perfectly. I just, I can't believe it. Um, between this and like the Cover FX Custom Drops, I'm just like, man, like both are bomb. Like I don't even know what to do. <laughs> but I guess it's better to have a lot of foundations that you like than uh, none at all. <laughs> now the foundation does seem to make, you know, Things look smooth on your face like it doesn't necessarily highlight any you know texture on your skin so I do love that and right now I'm looking just a tad you know dewy but I think that you know if you're oily with some standard you know like primer baking setting spray procedures you're gonna be able to make this work really really well I do notice as with all my foundations I do have smile lines so it has separated around the smile lines but you know those are my own issues but I do think that if you do have very mature skin with a lot of fine lines maybe this won't be the one that's gonna work for you unless you have certain techniques that you use to prevent any creasing, in which case, let your girl know. Um, but you know, overall, I think this is just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Now, when it comes to the actual size of the product that you get, for the foundation side, you get 0.26 ounces. So, you know, it's not one ounce like you usually get with some other foundations but keep in mind you are getting two products so on the other side the soft contour you're getting 0.14 ounces I think this is a fair amount of product because honestly I don't think you need to use a lot of the product at all since it already gives you such a natural look it doesn't really make sense to pile a lot of it on at once if you know what I mean um, and I'm just gonna be using this like for the rest of the summer. Like I am digging it. I love it so, so much. So let me know you guys, what's your answer? Do you think you'd be willing to try this product out? I know that currently on Sephora, it is um, on sale, but just for VIB Rouge. Um, I don't know when the actual date is for, you know, just the regular Beauty Insider and other customers, but I can tell you that it's definitely worth the coins in my humble opinion. But I want to know what you guys think, you know, based off of what you just saw on my experience. I'm always interested to know you guys' opinions. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out some of my other foundation reviews I love trying new products new face products new eyeshadow palettes anything but I do have a playlist dedicated specifically to foundation reviews for women of color so don't forget to check that out and otherwise I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye